Good morning, your Fitness First community. Hope you're okay. We are live today with a low impact beginner step workout. This is a perfect workout if you are not used to doing it, much working out, you're just getting into your fitness journey, it's a new year, you might just want to start out and don't know where to go and all these high impact ones are a bit too much for you. Or you just want to increase your steps because of the lovely snow outside and ice that um, can cause you a bit of a problem. So this is a perfect way to start the day. We are going to do a 25 minute uh, low impact beginners workout. So it's going to be nice and easy that you can do all in your own time at your own pace. So we're going to do 45 seconds of work, which is going to be light work. Just like I say, you do it all in your own time at your own pace. We don't need much of a warm up on this, we're going to use the warm up as part of the actual exercise. This is going to be nice little walking and then we've got eight exercises, we're going to do three rounds. So without further ado, because I know we've all got busy lives to go to and we're going to get started with this fantastic low impact beginners um, what step workout. So we're going to start nice and easy, we're just going to start nice walking on the spot nice and steady. If you want to intensify this at any time, you could probably, say in the second round or third round, add some little dumbbells to it, some tins of beans, if you think it might do light for you, and that'll just intensify the move for you. Um, but at all times, as always, we just keep our core engaged, head up high, big smile on your face, put some music on if you want, and just get this nice little workout done. I've done only 200 steps before I started this, about, so I'm just going to check in when we've done the first round and see how many steps I've done. So nice and steady. The active rest in between 15 seconds. I'll show you the next exercise. Just keep walking on the spot. You can just go a little bit lighter if you want. And time. Good work. So the next exercise, we're going to bring the arms in and across. And we're just doing a little in step. So nice and steady. You can go whenever you want. We're in three, two, one and good work. So again we're nice and steady. The first few <coughs> exercises we are just warming up. So I'm just doing some slight arm movements as well. Just sidestepping in, tapping in with the toes and back across. Good for the calves this. Again building strength in the legs and just adding those steps for the day. If you sat down at a desk all day you don't get many steps in. This is a perfect way to do it. Fantastic, that's it. Stepping side to side. Nice strong core. And even if you've done like a hard workout the day before, it's a good way to loosen off. Can't get out like say because of the snow and ice. And time, back walking on the spot. Can't get out because of the snow and ice. This is a great way to loosen off that muscle soreness from a big workout because it works so well at just loosening off. The nice little walk is brilliant for it. So we're going in with knee taps in three, two, one, and let's go. So bringing the knees up just as high as you want. Again, it's low impact, so keep the uh, landing nice and light. And we're still warming up. Fantastic stuff. Good work. One side to the other. Nice and gentle. I can say in the second round or third round, you want to add some small weights. You've got 30 seconds in the break. Um, just to I'd go and grab your dumbbells or grab some tins from the cupboard. Whatever you want. I'm just keeping this nice and light. That's it. Oh, nice little knee taps. One, and back walking on the spot. Good work. We can start speeding up that little walk in between if you want. We're going to go in for a nice little um, side tap, sorry. <laughs> Hung exercise. Oh, that's it. And step it to the side, bringing the arms up ever so slightly. We're on the fourth exercise now. So we should be able to just give it a little bit more now. If you want to add a little bit more, if you want to keep it nice and steady, just like me, just stay nice and steady pace. It's entirely up to you. But you're doing great. You've turned up. You're just getting those extra steps in for the day. And again, if you're busy, if you can't get out, and you fancy doing this again later on, it is a nice light impact, uh, low impact workout, so you could just do it later on. If you can't get out during the day, you could just do it whenever you want, in your dinner, 25 minutes, at the end of the day. Three, 
two, one, and good work everybody, fantastic. So we're going to go with a nice heel dig now, we're turning to the side, so dig your heel in, and one side to the other, bring your arms up, that's it, one side to the other, that's it, great stuff. So dig the heel in, it's a good stretch for the calf this as well, just nice and gentle, stretching forward, again keep the core engaged here, and you're dipping down a little bit, doing a little bit of a Working the knees a little bit, shall we say, as well, which is good. Not going into a deep squat or anything, just a nice little stretch of the leg. Fantastic. We've got three more moves to go on round one. And we'll check, see how many steps I've done. That's it. Good work. As I always say, every step counts. Three. Two, one, and good work, everybody. So back walking on the spot. We're going to go in for the back step. So a little toe taps. We'll step back and bring in the arms up in front of you, just nice and gentle. Let's go. Three, two, one, and let's smash it. Come on, last three to go. Then you can add a little bit more if you want. I'm just keeping this nice and steady. It's a nice steady stroll. Nice morning body wake up. Excellent. Bringing the arms up in front of you. Just waking the shoulders up as well. Fantastic stuff. Stepping the foot back. Good work, everybody. Ten seconds. We've got two to go. It. Keep breathing, keep working. Three, two, one, and fantastic stuff. Just give yourself a little space now. We're going to go into a B step. So we go forward, wide, and then back to the middle. So forward, forward, back to the middle. That's it. And just have some roller arms as you go forward. Nice, keeping the arms active, working. Nice little wide steps, as wide as you can go. Again, nice gentle landing as you go forward. Just a little bottle of B steps, so you're going round, boom, that's it. Excellent stuff. Good work, everybody. You're doing amazing. Fantastic. One more move after this. Good work. That's it. That's getting closer and closer to the screen. <laughs> Two, one, and walking on the spot. Fantastic stuff. Last exercise, we're just going to do a little side step and a little swoop. Not a full dip or anything, just a little side step and a swoop. Working the arms, a bit of a circular motion. Just going round and around. That's it, side to side. Good work. Fantastic, squeezing the shoulder blade back as you go one side to the other. And a little dip or a swoop in there if you can. Just works the knees a little bit more. The last one on round one, and we've got two more rounds to go. This is where you could add the weights if you wanted to, or the beans to intensify it. After this round, it's entirely up to you. Fantastic stuff. 10 seconds, and grab a little drink. Check how many steps we've done. Three, two, one, and time. Good work. So, oh, that's a good effort. Almost a thousand steps. So, 976 steps. That's brilliant. So, let's keep walking in between. Grab yourself a little drink. Then, we're going to go back through this time because it's round two. We can do a little bit of brisk walk if you want, or you can just keep it steady. But we're going through three, two, one, let's go. So keep it low impact again. But you can just go a little bit faster if you want, pumping the arms a little bit more, just ever so slightly. You don't have to go helpful ever. That's it. Fantastic. It's putting active minutes on my time as well. It's saying I'm earning. Um, Earning points, so that's good. It's getting the heart rate up, nice and steady. 
fantastic way to wake up. If you don't like working out and getting hot and sweaty, this is a great way to work out. Just to start the day with a nice little walking workout, especially with the snow and ice outside at the moment. Dangerous, so just stay safe out there. And good work, so nice little. This time we're going for the nice little step-ins again. So the arms going across the body. This time you can exaggerate the swing a bit more. So you can take your arms out to the side. It just adds a little bit more core into it if you want. Or you can just keep it nice and simple. Let's go. That's it. Stepping in, tapping the toes. And swinging the arms side to side. Good work everybody, keep going, run round two, remember if you want to add those weights, you can add those weights. I'm keeping this nice and light. Excellent stuff. Keep going. Nice deep breaths. Ten seconds. Three, two, one and back walking on the spot. Now we've got knee knee taps, or if you want to come a little bit higher, you can do knee to elbow, lifting hips up a little bit higher. I'm keeping this nice and simple. We're going to do knee taps. If you've got dumbbells in your hands, you can do an up and over. Let's go. So you bring your arms up and over, one side to the other. Well, let's just keep it nice and simple. If you're with me, let's do it. Come on. Nice deep breaths, doing amazing. Let's keep going. Just add that 5% if you can. Give it a little bit more. Go and get a few extra steps in by the end of it. Excellent stuff, keep going. Three, two, one, and walking on the spot. Excellent stuff everybody. We've got this time we're going to do some side steps and this time we're going to open the arms up nice and wide. A little bit of a chest fly. Three, two, one and let's go one side to the other. Excellent stuff everybody. Good work. Let's keep pushing it. It's 45 seconds. Just do the best you can. Taking it nice and steady. All in your own time at your own pace. As I always say, when you wake up in the morning, you look in the mirror, that's your competition, nobody else. That's it. Excellent stuff. Come on, 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and good work everybody. Fantastic stuff. So, we've got a nice little heel kick we're going to add into this one now. If you can, you can reach across. If you really want to, you can reach up, which adds a bit more core into it. It's just nice little heel kicks. And let's go, reach it up, or reach it across, wherever you want. That's it. Warming up, knees are warmed up now. We're in round two, we're halfway through round two. You can just add that a little bit more now, lifting the knees up if you can just to the best of your abilities. Excellent stuff. Good work everybody, keep going. Three moves to go after this. Yes, nicely done. Five, four, three, two, one. And good work everybody, fantastic stuff. We're going to do that nice little back step this time. This time we're going to do a ski motion now. So, like you're skiing, boom, stepping back. And if you're skiing, pushing off, and let's go, stepping. That's it. Just add that little bit of speed if you can. Boom. So, we're kicking back, you feel a kickback. So, you feel a nice little work, working the triceps a little bit. That's it, just stepping back best you can. Good work everybody, keep going. Got two moves to go after this. Excellent 
excellent. Boom. 10 seconds. Oh. Five, four, three, two, one, and good work. Instead of the B steps this time, we're going to do some box steps. So I'm just going to keep it nice and wide. Forward, forward, backwards, backwards. That's it. This time, just a few little jabs as we come forward. Forward, forward. And the legs go as wide as you want. We'll just keep them nice and small. You can do a small box, medium box, or big box. You know, a song about that. <laughs> big lock, little lock, cardboard box. You know, something like that. Way, way long time ago. <laughs> Showing my age now. Oh, go on, that's it. Keep going. Stepping forwards, backwards. Punching as you come forwards. Good work. That's it. Ten seconds. Go on. Almost at the end of round one. Got one more move. Two. One. And shake it off. Add those extra steps in. So we've got the little side steps and swoops. This time you can push and pull with the arms. So you're pushing forward more than pushing back. Little swoop. Nice big wide steps to the best of your ability. Let's go. Last 45 seconds on round two. Add about 5% if you can. I'll just keep it as ever you want. Oh. That's it. <coughs> Excellent stuff, everybody. Keep going. 25 seconds. Great work. Fantastic stuff, well done everybody. The last 10 seconds of round two. Swoop if you can, push you forward. That's it. Two, one, and good work. Fantastic stuff. So that has got my activity up to 23 minutes. Done over 2,000 steps now. So again, another 900 and something steps. Which is amazing. So, so it'll be 3,000 steps hopefully before the end of the workout, which is a great way to start the day. It's a great little walk to get in in 25 minutes, just over 3,000 steps. So we're going to go again, nice little brisk walk. Let's do it. Last round, doing the best you can. Last little bit, go on, pump those arms, get those legs moving a little bit more. If you want, you've got the room, you can walk up and down your kitchen. Boom, or wherever you're doing the workout. I'm being presumptuous there that you're doing it in the kitchen like me. <laughs> Most people probably aren't. That's it. Nice little walking. Walk around in circles, do what you want. That's it. Good work though. Let's just keep moving. Best as you can. Excellent stuff. Again, if you want to add those weights to it or those tins, it just intensifies it a little bit. And shake it off, good work, nice little steps, nice and steady, we've got the nice little step-ins now again, one side to the other, again bringing your arms to add that little bit of a core in, so step in from one side to the other, and just add that 5%, let's go, come on, it's the last round, let's see if we can give it a little bit more, this is a light and low impact steps workout, I'm sure you've got a little bit more you can give if you want, that's it. One side to the other, just stepping in, using your arms across your body. That's it. Excellent stuff, everybody. Keep going. You'll feel awake after this. You know, it's a little low impact workout. You'll feel great. Wake the body up, wake the mind up, and set yourself up for the day. Oh, like I say, if you just want to increase your steps, it's a perfect way to do it. And good work everybody. Knee taps again. So round three, exercise three. Bring it up, nice little knee taps. If you want to come higher, it's entirely up to you. You can lift up, do elbows, knee. But I'm keeping it nice and simple. One side to the other, adding that 5% if you can. Just going a little bit quicker. Keep the core engaged, keep your head up high, keep that big smile on your face, we're almost done. Doing amazing. 
and create extra calories you're burning while most people are in bed. It's a fantastic way to start the day. Like I say, you wake up the mind, you wake up the body, and you get those extra steps in. Feel like you've achieved something already. Good work, which is a great feeling. Excellent stuff. Go on, keep going. Two, one, and good work, everybody. Nice work. We're going to go in those nice little side steps again. Little flies. Just one step out to the side this time. Again, you can add that 5% if you want. Lifting the arms up towards the shoulders. Let's go. Come on. Boom. Nice, strong core. Nice, deep breath. Stepping one side to the other. Good work. Should be getting the heart rate up a little bit now. It's round three. You should be working just like you would be on a little walk. If you're continuing, you go a little bit brisker towards the end. This is all it's all about, just adding that little bit more, that little extra effort burns a few more calories, gets the heart rate up a little bit more, gets the metabolism going a little bit more. Every little helps. That's it. Two, one, and good work everybody. Fantastic stuff. See my heart rate's up to 137 there on this workout. That's great, just a little workout. So we've got heel kicks. We're just gonna reach across this time. Let's do it, go. So reaching across. We are over halfway through now. We've got three exercises left after this. Reaching across, reaching wherever you want, up, across, down. It's entirely up to you. I'm just keeping it nice and real. Simple, low impact, beginner step workout. It's not hurting my knees, not hurting my hips. It's just getting your step counts up, working the body a little bit, waking up. That's it, and also that means you don't have to go out it's walking in this snow and ice. Which I'm sure it looks pretty treacherous out there, to be honest. Two, one, and good work, everybody. So we're going back in with a back step again. So a nice little back step, just bringing the arms up in front, nice and steady. One side to the other, stepping back. Last round, come on. Three to go. Three, two, one, let's go. One step, just stepping behind you and bringing you up in front. That's it. Add that little pace if you can at 5%. We are almost there. Nice, strong core, don't lean forward too much. Stepping back behind you, just waking up the hip flexors. Stretching out just a little bit. Excellent stuff, everybody. Go on. That's it. Just step your foot behind. Excellent. Go on. Almost there. Got two exercises to go after this. And then we are done. You're doing amazing. Two. One. And good work. Walking on the spot. We've got to go back in with the B steps. See how many steps we've done. Which hopefully should get. Just over 3,000, so back in with the V steps, back, and the roller arms, so let's go. V step, forward, wide, back to the middle. Nice little Vs, you can do as big as you want. Do little fast steps, that's it. Good work. Fantastic stuff, well done. And let's do the arm backwards. That's it. I've got one more move after this. You're doing absolutely brilliant. Add that little 5%. We've got 15 seconds left on this one. And last 45 seconds. We've just smashed a 25 minute low impact workout that you can fit in anywhere in your day. Three, two, one. And fantastic stuff. Last little bit. So we've got little dips. And again, I'm going to squeeze the arm back as we go across. So just pushing back so you're feeling the um, shoulder blades just reaching together. And add that little dip. That's it. Just squeeze them ever so gently. We're not hurting, we're not pushing too far. Just swoop and push back. 
rocks and stuff, one side to the other, had that little dip in there. If you can, it's the last little bit, 25 seconds, we're almost there. You're doing amazing, you've done amazing. Keep pushing through. Excellent stuff. 15 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and excellent work, everybody. Oh, a nice little cool down now. What are we doing? Oh, 3,000 steps almost. That is amazing. By the time we've done a cool down, we're doing 3,000 steps. So grab yourself a quick drink, we'll have a little stretch, and then we are done. Hope you enjoyed that. What that? Still not even 7 o'clock if you join me this morning live. And we've done 3,000 steps, 20, 33 minutes of activity, says on my watch. So that's my 30 minutes smash already. And we feel good. We've got the heart rate going, We've got the body woken up. We feel absolutely great. So, let's well, I hope you feel great. <laughs> um, should feel great. It's a nice little impact step workout. Pull your arm across and just do a nice little shoulder stretch. Deep breaths in and out, just lifting the heels up. So I've done 200 steps, so I've done two, 3,000 um, and 2,800 steps in 30 minutes, which is great. It's about 900 steps per round, so that's fantastic. If you're giving it a little bit more, you've probably done a little bit more. I was keeping it nice and steady. Good work. Stretching out the shoulders, so plant the feet, hands in the small of the back, squeeze the shoulder blades together, look up, deep breath. That's it, good work. Fantastic. It's going to do some nice little hip circles, so just loosen off the groin, go from one side to the other. Nice and gentle. And the other way. Excellent stuff. And then just pull the quad through, so nice little quad stretch. If you can, grab your ankle, grab your ankle. If you can't, you can put it on a chair, put it there, up on a wall. Sit back, nice stretch for the quad. And to the other side. Oh. Fantastic everybody. Finish off with a nice little um, hamstring stretch. So one leg bent, one leg flex towards you, reaching down, touching your knee, shin, wherever you're at. Just reaching down to the best you can. A nice little stretch into the hamstring and over to the other side. Even though it's only a little walking step workout, it's always good to stretch. You should stretch every day at least at least five to seven times a week, at least minimum. And if you can fit a little bit of yoga in there, even if it's just ten minutes, it's amazing. Um, I do some yoga, yoga with Adrian on YouTube. It's absolutely brilliant. It's just ten minute yoga, fifteen minute yoga, but really good for helping you loosen up and relax. So Fantastic work everybody, hope you enjoyed that low impact step workout, set yourself up for the day. Like I say, it's done just over, I've done just over 3,000 steps now, that's what the 200 have done before. But that's not a bad start to the day, 25 minutes, 36 minutes of activity it says now, which is amazing. So, hope you enjoyed that, remember, as always, if you can be anything, be kind, be positive and be happy. Take care everybody, I'll see you Friday morning for another fantastic workout. See you all soon, have a great day.